Sunday morning and we had a really incredible service last night with Pastor Hernan's uh, network of churches. Um, we, we drove to this, this uh, small town in the mountains, uh, seemingly in the middle of nowhere. We're driving by cliffs, there's beautiful scenery, and right in the middle of that town, there was this really large church. And so we, we went there and um, all these churches uh, that are part of this network come together periodically to have these services. Um, worship was incredible. Um, we just really sensed the presence of the Lord, and I preached a message about the church's responsibility to reach this world for Jesus, about evangelism, and about how all of us as believers need to take our responsibility to reach the world around us. Um, at the end, the first uh, call I had was for people who felt a specific call to be an evangelist or missionary, somebody who feels uh, specifically called to do that kind of work, and, and many came forward, even some young um, ch children came. And we laid hands on them, prayed for God to anoint them and to use them and, and to give them the ministry that they feel he's calling them to give. And, and then we had a more general call if someone needed a touch from the Lord to come forward. And, and we prayed for many, many people. Our team laid hands on many. Many were touched in a powerful way. Many were weeping and crying out to the Lord. And it was a really beautiful service. Uh, Pastor Hernan was really grateful for our team coming and was very encouraging. And so uh, we got back really late last night, and this morning we are getting prepared now for uh, a full day. We've got two church services in two areas of Managua, and um, and then during the day in between, we're not able to come back because it's just too far, and so we'll spend the, t the day doing some shopping and trying to get some rest uh, between services. And so uh, I just know today's going to be a powerful day. Uh, God's going to do it again, and He's been continuing to anoint the messages and use each service, and so really grateful for what He is continuing to do here. Monday morning and we're getting ready to go to a new community called Los Altos where we'll be doing two outreach days and two evening services. Those are the final two days of the trip. Uh, the team's exhausted. It's been so busy but also so uh, such a blessed time as the Lord has moved. Yesterday we had a full schedule. Um, we drove to a small church that invited us to come um, yesterday morning. We had a couple of people from our team share testimonies and then I shared a message about protecting the presence of God in our lives. Um, the Holy Spirit moved powerfully during the altar time. People's lives were, were really touched. Uh, many people crying out to the Lord. And then the pastor asked us to pray for all their leaders. And we had a really powerful time of just uh, praying for the, the pastoral leaders. And um, just that God would continue to uh, expand their influence in that community. Uh, the pastor was extremely appreciative that we were there. And it was a great service. Um, then we... Um, had the afternoon, we, we weren't able to come back to the project, so we, we spent the afternoon um, just uh, going to a shopping mall and, and doing some shopping. We had an opportunity to share the gospel with a couple of people there. I'm really grateful for the Romans road cards in Spanish because it gives us something to leave with people. We talked to one uh, young couple who were not interested in uh, hearing about Jesus, but we, we just left that card with them and said, well, please read this and just consider uh, what it says. And so it gave us an opportunity to leave. Um, you know, we've left hundreds of those in different places and we're going to continue to give them out today. Um, last night we went to a church. The, the last trip I took, the first service I preached at was a, a man named Pastor Henry's church. And uh, we went back to that church. They did an outdoor uh, evangelistic night. And so I preached uh, a message about how Jesus can save, heal, and deliver. And uh, people were very responsive. It was a uh, uh, a couple of people came up front. One lady, uh, she was pregnant, and she came up and said, I want to give my heart to Jesus, and it was her first time responding to an altar call, and the team was able to pray with her. Another older man 
um, came up and he said, I want to give my life back to God. I've been away from him. And so we prayed for him and he also had knee pain. And so we prayed twice for his knees. Both times the pain significantly dropped. So I believe the Lord's touching him and will complete that work. And so it was a really a beautiful time. At, at the end of the service, uh, they asked all the kids from the church to come up front. And so all these young people um, were up there just crying and seeking out to the Lord. It's so beautiful to see young children that have a sensitivity to the Lord. And we were able to lay hands on them and pray over that generation. And uh, it was just a great night. Uh, the Lord really moved um, all throughout the day. And we're really grateful for, for just how he continues. Every single service has been a, a unique and special move of the Spirit. And so we're just uh, anticipating what God's going to do. We're going to continue to share the gospel, continue to pray, continue to serve these communities and, and, and see what happens today and, and tonight.